for the record, state your name. Hey, I'm smoking in here. What it is? You're an asshole. Okay, for the record, can you state your name? Russ Cole, former state CID. Do you know why you're here? Dora Lang. Our case back in 95. You think I don't know about the Lake Charles incident? How do you think, detectives? If we caught the guy in 95, how's he still out there? How indeed, detectives? I'm not a detective. I'm Dr. Malcolm Fisher, a psychiatrist based out of Los Angeles. I deal with post-picture personality disorder. That means if an actor grows too attached to a character that failed to be passed, they can create a certain pressure release with this defense mechanism. Mr. McConaughey believes he's still his character, Russ Cole, from True Detective. Each person's sensory experience constitute a unique individual with purpose and meaning. So certain that they were more than a biological puppet. But the truth wills out that one sees a stranger cut. I'll fall down. Well, I've dealt with this a few times with Supreme Method actors. On set of The Godfather, the pizza delivery boy got Marlon Brando's order wrong, so he put a horse's head in the back of his car. With Mr. McConaughey, it's starting to affect his personal life. Yo, Marty, I got a tip from one of the CIs. I'm gonna head down to that hillbilly bunner ranch. What you think? This has been going on for about eight months. He's turned our guest bedroom into his investigation lab. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my husband, and I'm very concerned for his well-being. But if I have to hear about Carcosa or the Yellow King again, I'm going to kick the shit out of him. Can we edit that out? Why don't you try to get some sleep? I don't sleep. I only dream. Alright boys, let me make a beer stop. Hey, hey, hey. Sit back down. Tell me, how do you spend your days? Well, a tin bar out in the middle of nowhere. Got my days off, I drink. And since it's Thursday, it's past noon. I drink. You don't get to interrupt that. It's actually Tuesday, 10 a.m. Can I see that for a sec? How bad? Put some hair in your chest. This is apple juice. This could take a while. With each method actor, Sometimes we need to help nudge them back to reality or break character. With Brando, he liked pastries for some reason. With Christian Bale, though, he loved when we put him in a room full of crew members and we let him berate them and mock them for hours. Sometimes we have to go to extremes. There's something I want you to see.
have this. No one should. How does that make you feel? That yeah, reminds me of this time that Marty and I found this DB down by the creek. This has been going on for 12 straight hours. He's replaying every single scene from Two Detectives. I'm running out of ideas. Then I got the call. Sorry, I gotta take this. Appreciate a little hustle on that. <sighs> Mr. McConaughey, the fact of the matter is, the studio's losing money with you. Ever since you became an accomplished actor, you've lost a key demographic, women. They don't want you gaunt battling AIDS or solving child murder cases. They want you shirtless, dim-witted, bongo-playing McConaughey. Mr. McConaughey. Mr. McConaughey. <clears throat> Mr. Cole. Sorry, man, I drift. Narco days. You know, detective. After all these years, I know who I am. There's a sort of victory in that. I see that now. Well, actually, I just got the phone with your agent. The studios are willing to offer you $30 million for the next romantic comedy. Well, all right, all right, all right. Appreciate your help there, Doc. You know, there was a time I thought I was, I was gone. I was out on Pluto, but you're here. You pull me back in. You know, I'm back in Earth's atmosphere, and it, it feels good. But uh, you know, I gotta skate now. But you about that? No, nah, I'm just kidding, man. Keep on living. Actors. Yeah, man, I've had this plan for a while now. Now. Uh, Christian Bale taught me this trick on the set of uh, Rain of Fire, you know, get them right where you want them. And uh, anytime I don't wear a shirt now, I get paid a million dollars. So, it's all good now. Mr. McConaughey, they're ready for you. All right. Excuse me, I gotta get back on set. All right, where's Kate Hudson? Mm-hmm.